Today on Alaskan Ballistics, the Marlin Dark versus the Henry X. Which one is a better 4570? Let me know at the end of the video. Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. My name is Chuck. I hope you're doing well today. So we've got a Henry X. I've owned this one for quite some time. Bought it in the COVID pandemic. And we also have a Marlin Dark 4570. This one is Chooks Outdoor Adventures. I don't think he's even shot it yet. Uh, maybe he has once or twice. We're going to do a little bit of comparison today and just see how they are. We're going to go shoot them, do some velocity tests. The Marlin Dark does have a 16-inch barrel with a brake. And it's got a high-vis sight. And it's got your quick detach slot right here, plus end rails all along, end lock rails on three sides. It comes with your rail system up here, probably manufactured for Marlin by XS Sight Systems, Ruger Marlin. And you have a nice grippy grip right here. You do have a small leather, and this one sticks a little bit occasionally. You do have the traditional cross bolt safety. Now, for bear defense, I think that's not a smart idea, the cross bolt safety. But for the deer stand, you can have the hammer back and the safety on and still have a safe gun that's, you know, relatively safe as long as you don't drop it out of the deer stand. And you can push that off when you see a deer a lot quieter than you can pull the hammer back. Now, both of these guns are safe. Yep, action stuck there just a little bit. There's a little... Hitching its giddy up right there. And we have a nice raised cheek piece with your quick detach right there. This looks like M lock as well if you wanted to attach extra round holders or anything like that here. He's got a Sealy Optics on it. It is the Bull X Pro. And it seems to be a nice red dot. So we'll see how it does siding it in. For the standard Henry X. I have an upgraded XS sight systems on there, so that was an upgrade. I do have the Ranger Point Precision Comet Brake on there, also an upgrade. I do like, and this gun is safe by the way, and it's a lot smoother pumping, but it's also been shot a lot more and cleaned, probably a lot more. She probably didn't clean his gun, it's probably just sticking because of that. Anyway, I do like that you can take this out and dump rounds out of here instead of having to run every round through the chamber to unload it. All right? I did have to get a tall sight because my barrel seemed to shoot really, really high or really, really low. I could never bring it down enough. Um, so we ended up having to do the tall sight with this and it ends up hitting in the middle. No cross bolt safety, just the hammer. And, of course, the stock back here has your regular sling swivels, not quick detach. The butt plaid's really, really hard. It's not a nice, soft, cushiony, limb saver type butt pad. It's just hard rubber. And, of course, the grip isn't as grippy right in here. And nor can you remove it like you can the Marlin. show you that Marlin's butt pad. And that is really cushiony. You can squeeze it in. I think that's going to reduce the recoil a lot more. So the Henry X only has M locks right here, just two of them. And then it has a railed section down here that I have this Brynite double flashlight on. I really like this XP22 Scorpion flashlight. It's a good flashlight. One little story about the Henry X. I was fishing with bullets for bucks on the Russian River two years ago. I carried this on my back on the way back. It was raining the whole time. And this part that was up against my back actually rusted up a little bit. I don't know if you can see the pits or not. But they are there. They're very, very, very tiny. There they are. And it's just, it's hard to see them. I did clean it immediately and all that kind of jazz. But it did rust up on me. I don't like that for an outdoorsy gun. All right. Let's take these tactical lever actions to the range and see what they can do.
2089. So here are the two shots that we took with the Marlin Dark. Plus, you can see the average there. Not bad, Underwood Extreme Penetrators. Twenty-two fifty-three. So here you can see the results from the Marlin Dark with that Lehigh Extreme Penetrator. We got over 200 feet per second more with just a 18-inch barrel. So that's pretty interesting. Of course, the extreme spread was a little bit more of just between two rounds, but we were only shooting two rounds because of economic factors. But that's just to give you an idea that you do get some more velocity with the 18 and a half inch barrel than the 16 and a half inch barrel. So I'm in right here with the Fort Scott tumbling ammo, Tui. And this is the group I got. It was real low, which is interesting because I was sighted in for something heavier. And that was the group I got out of the Henry X. And this is the group I got with Fort Scott munitions. Same thing. I was aiming right here. I don't know why it was so low, but that's the group I got out of the Marlin dark the only thing that's better about the henry x two things is it's got a longer barrel and it's smoother whereas the marlin dark his leaks like to be a little bit more accurate the marlin dark did not like the winchesters that i shot right here at the middle of the target that already had some holes in it i figured i could tell the difference between the 45 70 holes and the 270 there and yeah i, I was aiming dead center and it was all over the place with the winchester ammo as you can see uh, extreme penetrators. There's two shots for the extreme penetrators. There's two shots for the extreme penetrators. So after getting back from the range, the Marlin Dark was more accurate with one type of ammo, and it kicks a lot less. This muzzle brake is just way more effective than this Comet muzzle brake, which I thought was awesome by Ranger Point Precision that I have on here. So honestly... The Henry was more smoother and better velocity. This had a little better accuracy with one type of ammo, and it is definitely kicking less. So those are kind of the advantages and disadvantages of each. 
And of course, to set this one up, like this one's set up with the stock and everything, it you know would cost you some money and to get you some stuff. But this butt pad is definitely better, and and the muzzle brake is definitely better. That's just after shooting them both and recording and my thoughts while it's fresh in my mind. Well, that was a definitely interesting range trip, and I definitely like both these guns. Tell me which one you would like better. Do you want the 16-inch barrel with a little more velocity loss or the 18-inch barrel? The muzzle brakes do a pretty good job on both of them. The Henry X is still a little lighter, but it's also because it doesn't have that heavy rail. I'm sure Ranger Point Precision absolutely makes that rail for the Henry. So if you wanted to put that kind of rail on the Henry, you could probably get a nice M-lock rail with a quick detach stud in it. And that would probably be pretty good as well. The Henry has a bigger loop, which I like too. It's not really a big, big loop, but it is a bigger loop. You can see them right there. If you have thin gloves on, you could probably work this one. Really thick winter gloves, probably neither one of them are actually that great. But for thinner gloves, you could probably still use this and get away with it. All right, don't forget to check out our arms directory page, our MeWe page. We're on Twitter at AK Ballistics. We are on Gab. Alaskan Ballistics. We are on Telegram, Alaska Ballistics. So go check us out all those places. We have a Patreon if you feel like I've earned that. And even a dollar a month helps. I'm making about $6 a month right now on Patreon. Guys and gals, thank you for watching. Godspeed and good hunting to all of y'all.